Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and on this tutorial, histology tutorial to be more specific, we will be discussing one of the three types of cartilage that we have in our body, which is known as fibrocartilage. Now before we begin discussing fibrocartilage, let's first have a look at cartilage in general. Here in this image we can see the cartilage that cushions the spinal vertebrae, which is known as an intervertebral disc. Cartilage is in a vascular form of connective tissue that is tough as well as flexible. If we take a closer look at a diagrammatic view, I can show you that cartilage is characterized by its extracellular matrix, which usually contains high amounts of glycosaminoglycans, which are also called or abbreviated as GAGs. And the extracellular matrix also contains proteoglycans. Now this extracellular matrix interacts with collagen and also elastic fibers and the variations in the composition of the cells and matrix of cartilage are what define what type of cartilage it is. The main cells of cartilage tissue are known as chondrocytes and are embedded in the extracellular matrix that we mentioned before. There are three types of cartilage which are defined according to the composition of the extracellular matrix and chondrocytes. The first of which is shown in this micrograph here and it is known as hyaline cartilage. This is the most uh, common type of cartilage found in your body and its extracellular matrix contains predominantly type 2 collagen fibers. This type of cartilage is mostly found on the joint surfaces in the respiratory tract and it is also widespread in the embryonic skeleton. The second type is known as elastic cartilage and is histologically similar to hyaline cartilage, but it contains a high amount of elastic fibers, making it more pliable and distendable. This type of cartilage is mainly found in the outer ear, as in this image that you see now, as well as the epiglottis and the eustachian tubes. And finally, the third type is known as fibrocartilage, which is the subject of our tutorial here. Fibrocartilage is essentially a combination of hyaline cartilage and dense regular connective tissue, and one of its functions is to act as a sort of cushion for bones in your body. In this tutorial specifically, we will begin by looking at some examples of where fibrocartilage tissue may be found in the body so that you can get a better idea idea of its application and function. We will then take a closer look at the histological structure of fibrocartilage and finally we will examine the role of fibrocartilage in embryonic development which has important clinical applications that we will also be covering here on this tutorial. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.